right here. I got something really cool to show you. I kick it. One, two. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, that was beautiful. Watch this. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad, you can't use your hands in soccer. Son, I... Leona, Lionel, you know that playing soccer in the library is taboo. What, what's taboo? Playing soccer in the library. Oh, no, no, I mean, what does it mean? It means it's not allowed. Oh, but we won't hurt anything. There's plenty of room. Ah, you might think you won't do any harm, son, but you never know what might happen. What? what? He's getting that look in his eye again. If we don't go soon, we'll be here all afternoon getting a lecture. Oh, no. You're right, Dad. We're sorry. We'll just scoot outside. Dad, you know, this just... reminds me of a story. Look, I want you both to hear it. I think I saw it in a stack somewhere. Let's see here. Uh, oh. did you... ah. There it is. Come along. Okay. Here we go. The pen fell on the floor. <laughs> but I guess you already read that. <laughs> I'll just pick it up. All righty. Now, this story is called Because a Little Bug Went Kachu by Rosetta Stone, illustrated by Michael uh, Frith. <laughs> you may not believe it, but here's how it happened. One fine summer morning, a little bug sneezed. Because of that sneeze, a little seed dropped. Because that seed dropped, a worm got hit. Ow! Because he got hit, that worm got mad. Because he got mad, he kicked a tree. Because of that kick, a coconut dropped. Because that nut dropped, a turtle got bopped. Because he got bopped, that turtle named Jake fell on his back with a splash in the lake. Because of that splash, a hen got wet. Because she got wet, that hen got mad. Because she got mad, that hen kicked a bucket. Because of that kick, the bucket went up. Because it went up, the bucket came down. Because it came down, it hit Farmer Brown. And the bucket got stuck on his head. Because it got stuck, Farmer Brown phoned for help. Because of his phone call, policemen came speeding. Because they were speeding, they hit a big stone. And so one policeman flew up all alone. Because he flew up, he had to come down. And because he came down on the boat Mary Lou, and because he hit hard, he went right on through. He made a big hole in the boat Mary Lou. Who bother? Because of that hole, the boat started to sink. And because it was sinking, well, what do you think? Everyone, everyone started to yelp. <laughs> and Mrs. Brown called on the phone for more help. Because of her phone call, more help came fast. <laughs> they tied a strong rope to the Mary Lou's mast. Because of that rope, the boat didn't go down. But it had to be fixed, so they started for town. And because they went there, 
It's true, I'm afraid. They ran right into a circus parade. <laughs> Something they'll never forget. And as far as I know, it is going on yet. <laughs> and that's how it happened. Believe me, it's true. Because, just because, a small bug went ka -choo. <laughs> that was a really good story, Deb. This story is a good example of how there's more to reading than just reading. Mm -hmm. Reading gives you something to think about, too. Now, what do you think the message of this story was? Leona, hmm? hmm? uh, honey, please pay attention to Daddy. Is it that one little thing that can cause something else you'd ever expect? And that you might find that little thing. And now. A baboon in a maroon balloon reading from the earth to the moon, shouting, Wahoo! Wahoo! <laughs> I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for this. But what is it? Kachoo! Ooh! No, actually, it's my real hair. Oh! Get it to the groove as Bert the Reader in the Vow! Knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir Bruh. Bruh. and Sir Oom. Oom. Blend on, dudes. Oom. 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 What am I doing? Oh, you must just Let's see. Excellent! That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, see you soon. See you next time on Gawain's Word! Gawain's Word! In a dirty and dusty old room Lived an unhappy bride and her groom So the last would have be where the G used to be she swept the place clean with a broom. Zzz. Ooh. Mmm. Zzz. Ooh. Mmm. Zoom. Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure number 17, Cliffhanger and the Balloons. <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer! All of a sudden, a bunch of balloons floats by. Balloons? Ah, balloons! Poor marooned Cliff roots around in his backpack and soon locates his nasty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. Hmm, baboons? Ah, here we are, balloons. 
When you see a bunch of balloons, grab them. You will soon escape. Hooray! Has Cliffhanger made his escape at last? Toodaloo! Pull! 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 Shoo! 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 Oops. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. So you see how things could happen, whether you intend to or not. Because one thing causes another thing, which causes another thing, which is why Please, Leona, I'm almost finished. Which is why you shouldn't play soccer in the library. What was that? Oh. 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 Leo? Oh. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh, Did you... Oh. 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 Sorry! Oh. Yes. Did this happen because... The Cubs played soccer in the library? Mm, I didn't do anything. Actually, it was you, Theo, dear. Me? <laughs> Did I cause that music, too? What music? Swami, smarmy, marmy, that's a Swami's name. And reading what the future writes is Swami, marmy's game. I see. <laughs> I see. Oh, what do you see in the future? Oh, great and wise and sassy Swami Mermy. Hmm? Oops. Oops. Yes. Oops. With an exclamation point. That is what the future has written. So. Be on the lookout for oops. With an exclamation point. Yeah, yeah, I, I will. I'll be in the... Today, Chicken Jane and the Loose Moose. Look, look, see, see, coming down the lane. Here comes Scott, here comes Dot, here comes Chicken Jane. Mark! See, Scott, see my hoop. Yes, Dot, yes, it is a groovy hoop. Oh, Scott, oh, I hear a moo. Yes, Dot. Yes, I hear a moo, 
too. See, Scott, see. That moose is loose. Yes, Scott, yes. That loose moose is mooing. Look, Dot, look. See, Chicken Jane write the letters V A N O O S E. The moose. The moose. The moose, Scott. The moose. See, Chicken Jane go over the moon. We are not going over the moon. Thank you, Chicken Jane. <laughs> And now, a word from WNBA superstar, Teresa Weatherspoon. Shoot. Uh, whoop, whoop, okay, whoop, come on. Whoop, whoop. <sighs> nice move. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> d, d, ooh. Dull. Doodle. 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 Mmm. Noodle. 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 Cool and groovy Marmy, the remarkable Smarmy Marmy Smart Teeny! Thank you, my sunny boy, great Smart Teeny. You are too kind. Too, too. And you, Marmy, are a hoot! <laughs> and now I, the great Smart Teeny, We'll perform my amazing trouser defying double O OO trick. Mommy, may I have two words that have the double O OO sound in them, please? Here, Sonny Boy, are the words noodles and oodles. Oh, thank you, Mommy. Hey. And now, I'll put these words into my smarty pants. All right, and now I will say a magic word. Ubra kadubra. And now I will do my magic dance. Ooh, ah. Dance and smart the pants, yeah. Ooh, ah. Dance and smart the pants, ooh, ah. All right, let's uh, see what we got. because of me. I, I was reading a book when it happened. That's right. I saw the whole thing. Oh, Gladys. Ooh. Ooh. Take this down for posterity. What? Here's how it happened. I promise it's true. Because a dad took a book about a small bug's kachu. Everyone crashed with a mighty kaboom. A mighty kaboom that shook the whole room. The mighty kaboom was a bursting balloon. The hot air balloon of Lord Bootsy Baboon. A lovely balloon that was colored maroon. What was it then that burst the balloon? A rocketing monkey by name of McFloon. McFloon? What sent McFloon flying high in the air? A plummeting book sent him shooting up there. Whence came that book? Well, you may ask it. It fell from Lord Bootsy Baboon's balloon basket. Uh oh. The name of the book was From the Earth to the Moon. Lord Bootsy was planning to go by balloon. You see, Bootsy Baboon was reading the book when a ladder of monkeys was snagged on the hook of the anchor that trailed beneath the balloon, the maroon-hued balloon of Bootsy Baboon. 
When that ladder of monkeys snagged on that hook, that's when Lord Bootsy let go of that book. A ladder of monkeys? A head was there, too. It rolled round the library, raced right on through. The monkeys were up there to do some repairs. On the balcony rail, right next to the stairs. The reason the ladder was rolling around? Because a computer was knocked to the ground. This frightened the chicken. The chicken jumped on. And away with a whoosh. The ladder was gone. What bumped the computer? That's my fault, you see. I bumped into it when Marmy bumped me. <laughs> and the reason she bumped me? It happened when our dear Smarmy Marmy picked up a pen. A pen that had fallen from up on a book that was up on a stack from which a dad took. I promise it's true. The story of how a small bug went ka -choo. That is what caused all the hullabaloo. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. Are you trying to tell me that here's how it happened? Why the baboon's balloon went kaboom? Now in the library, I put my pen down. I put my pen down on a big stack of books. Then I pulled out a book from deep in that book stack. Because I did that, I knocked the pen off. Because it fell off, Marmy bent down to get it. She picked that pen up when it fell on the floor. Now because she did that, she bumped into Cleo, who was crossing the library doing a chore. Because she bumped Cleo, she sent some books flying. Because they went flying, a computer got bopped. Because it got bopped, it frightened a chicken. She jumped in the air with a squawk. Because she jumped up, she hit a tall ladder. Because it got hit, it started to roll. Because it was rolling, some monkeys ran after it, but that ladder was going too fast. Up in the air, library patron, the famous explorer, Lord Bootsy Baboon, was floating along, making no trouble, reading a book from the Earth to the Moon. Floating along, making no trouble, floating along in his hot air balloon. It's his favorite color, the color maroon. Because he was floating right over the ladder, Lord Bootsy's anchor got snagged on its top. Because it got snagged, the ladder went backward and no one could make the thing stop. It yanked on the anchor, which pulled on the basket, which gave poor Lord Bootsy a terrible jerk. Down went his book and it fell on a sawhorse. The monkey was taking a break from his work. Because the book fell, the sawhorse went down. Because it went down, the monkey went up. McLoon? Because he went up, that monkey McFloon punched a big hole in that water. Oh! And Bootsy Baboon's balloon went kaboom! What a kaboom! It shook the whole room! That mighty kaboom, so big and so loud, took monkeys and chickens, the whole crazy crowd? Bootsy and Cleo and bits of balloon threw them all over the main reading room. Oh my God! Yari! It's oh. okay! And that's how it happened. Well, I guess that it's true. Just because I pulled out, little bug went ka -choo. How many dads would go to so much trouble just to teach their cubs a lesson? Well, um, I am it, never gonna forget that lesson. I, uh, Daddy, huh. you are so it, smart. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yes, really thank you. Uh, so well, it, it, it certainly was a lot of trouble, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, hey, why don't you kids go, go outside and play some soccer while I deal with the mob? Wow, thanks, uh, Patrons! Okay. Patrons! Your patrons. I... Ugh. Oh, Theo. How many times have we talked about taking a book from the center of the stack? Mm -hmm. I hope you learned your lesson. Well, <laughs> you're never too old to learn, you know, mm -hmm. which reminds me of a story. It's in this book right here. No, 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 What? And now, Walter and Clay Pigeon play kazoos. It's a gloomy day for Beethoven. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website, pbskids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. If you want a child to get wild about learning, get him wild about reading. Be a designated reader. Oh, oh hey, well, what's that one? 
That's an industrial steam locomotive. Woo-woo!